For this problem, the first thing that we have to do is we're working with this equation and it would be good to turn it around to look like y equals mx plus c. So I'm going to rewrite that equation, 4y minus 3x equals 8, and I'm going to take the 3x to the other side of the equals. So I'm going to get 4y equals, now if it was minus 3x, the opposite operation is plus 3x, and 8 just stays as 8. My y is, is multiplied by 4. To undo multiplying by 4, I will divide everything in the whole equation by 4. So 3x over 4, I could write as 3 quarters x. 8 divided by 4, I'm going to write 2. Okay. So now I've got my equation for my original line. I notice that its gradient is 3 quarters. When I get a perpendicular line, I have to make the two gradients multiply to give negative 1. A quick way to do this is for the perpendicular line, for perp line, the gradient will have to be turn it upside down and make it the opposite sign. Okay, so now we know the gradient of our perpendicular line. What we need to do next is we need to find its whole equation. So we're going to use using the point we're given, 0, 2. And we want it to look like y equals mx plus c. So I'm going to write underneath a little x and a little y so I know what I'm dealing with. Okay, so 2 equals the m, the new m, negative 4 over 3, my x plus c. Okay, that works out to be 0, so that tells me that 2 is c. Finally, I'm going to write down my full answer. Answer. Y. Found my m. My m was negative 4 over 3. x. Never forget the x. Lots of people forget the x. Don't forget negative 4 over 3x plus 2.